Hello, everybody. Bill Thornton, SoCal Saber here. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to this week's edition of Back to Basics Baseball. It's game number three of the 1957 World Series featuring the New York Yankees and the Milwaukee Braves. In this playoff, in this project here, the Yankees are ahead two games to none after two. So we're, the series has shifted from New York. It's in Milwaukee now. And we're getting ready to go here with the Yankees coming to the bat here in the top of the first. So here we go. Hank Bauer facing Bob Buell. Bauer's going to get the swing because Buell's a C pitcher. So he gets the swing. Bauer's a C batter. And we got a, a home run if it's a D or more. If not, if it's a double right off the bat. So we're going to go to Hank Bauer's home run rating. And it's a C, which is higher than a D. So Bauer leads off the game with a solo home run. Wow. So that's a crazy way to start. Okay. All right. He's already got Buell shook up. All right. Here's Tony Kubek. Tony's getting a swing. Tony is a B plus. A B plus. He's a... He's a... Oh, it's a walk. If he's an A, B, C, or D walk, where's his walk? He is a D, so he, Tony draws the walk. The Yankees. I think they got him figured out already. Here's Mickey Mantle. C. Struck him out. Big strikeout. Getting the mick. Yogi. He's a C, and Yogi walks. So we got runners on first and second now. One out. For Gil McDougal. Gil's getting a swing. Gil is a B plus. And we got a B plus here, and he's a pop out to second. Two down. Brings up Harry Simpson. And Harry hits a deep fly to right. And that's going to be three outs. But they got one on the big home run by Bauer. There comes the Braves. They said that could have been worse. Bob Turley's pitching. He's a B pitcher. Leading off is Red Shane Beast. <clears throat> okay, come on, Cards. Don't fight. Don't make it hard so hard today. B pitcher. He's getting a swing on it. Shane Beast is an A batter. We're looking at A, and he's a triple. If he's an A, B, or C triple guy, he's a D, so it's going to be an out. We're going to flip over and look at the, the out section. Yeah. And it's going to be a... I guess it's just a, a C, a two, three. Yeah. Okay. Coming up, Johnny Logan. The B pitcher is giving him a swing. Logan is a C plus. It's a fly out the right. Okay, Eddie Matthews. The B is giving him a swing. And Eddie is a B plus. That's a ground out, and it's a ground out the short. Up of the second, Jerry Lumpy getting the start today, coming up the plate, the bat, against the C pitcher, strikeout if he's got an A. And I don't really understand this. All these strikeout, uh, the pitchers are, are A's, KF's, and everything. They're F high. None of them ever relate to that. So I've reread that several times, and that's what it is. I must be, maybe I'm reading the chart something wrong. Let me look at Bob Buell. No, nope. so it wasn't a strikeout, so we're going to the batter's card. Uh, Lumpy. Jerry is a A-plus batter. An A-plus is a ground ball the first, and we're going to be checking the error rating, I believe. Yeah, we're going to be checking uh, the error rating. Uh, 
I was wondering where I was. We're checking the arrow rating on, on the first baseman. Their first baseman is uh, Joe Adcock. His error rating is a B. So we're going to flip over to the next one. And B, he is out of there. Oh. So we'll do that three unassisted this time. Here's Jerry Coleman. Facing the C is a swing. Coleman is a C batter. See there, and there's a base hit. Okay, we're gonna be Bob Turley's gonna try to bunt them over. Okay, and here we go. We're gonna be checking the sacrifice section, and that's a sacrifice. It worked fine. Sacrifice works. Runner goes over. We'll give him a sacrifice bunt. Two down. Runner on second in scoring position for Hank Bauer. Getting the swing. The C pitcher. Bauer is a C hitter. C hitter. There's a single and runners go one base. Okay. Brings up Kubek. The Yankees threatening again here in the second. The C. He's swinging. Kubek's a B plus. A B plus is a double if he's an A, C, B, or D. And a, no, he is a D. No, he is a D. So this is a double. The runners will go two bases. So he's going two. He's going to third. And he scores. And Kubek drives in another run. The Yankees trying to get going, keep, keeping it going. Here comes Mantle. The C. Walk up the pitchers is an F walker. He is a walk. And he walked Mantle to load the bases. With, only, with two outs. All this with two outs now. That's. And here we go with Yogi. Oh, and it's a pop out to short. They got him. Get out of a big jam. Could have been a lot worse. But they score again. Okay, and here comes two to nothing now. Bottom in the second. And it brings up Hank Aaron. It's a B pitcher, so he's getting a swing. And Aaron is an A hitter. That's a short fly out to right. Bob Turley getting him down here. And Covington at the plate. And he's a B pitcher. Ground out to second. We're going to check the error rating on their second baseman, who is Jerry Coleman. His error rating is an F. We'll check it as soon as I stop fighting with the card here. Error rating F. He is out of there, so it's 4 3. And that brings up Joe Adcock. Joe draws the walk. Bob Hazel. Getting a swing on that B, and Hazel is an A. Plus. An A plus, and then that's a fly out to center, and that's three. So Braves go down again without getting a hit. Moving to the top of the third. In a lot of my baseball games, I take you out after the three and bring you back in, but we're we're not running very long, so we're just going to keep going. Top of the third, and the Yankees are up with Gil McDougal. And the B pitcher, C pitchers, letting him swing. McDougal is a B plus. A B plus. Strikeout if he's a B, C, D, or F. McDougal, strikeout. Where are you at? B, C, D, or F. Struck him out. Okay, here comes Harry Simpson. Getting a cut. Harry's a C. The ground out the third, 5 3. And Jerry Lumpy getting the cut. Jerry's an A plus. A plus, and there's a base hit. They getting hits every inning. 
And here comes Jerry Coleman with two outs. Eh? He's got all this stuff going with two outs last time. Coleman. Let's see. It's a ground out to first. So we'll go 3 1. Okay. Bottom of the third. Okay, let's see what we got going here. We got uh, Del Rice against the B pitcher. It's a ground out to third. We're checking the third baseman's error rating. That is uh, about Lumpy. His error is C. C, he's out of there. 5-3. Bob Buell. Getting the cut. He's an F batter. Strikeout if he's an A, B, C, or D. Where's his strikeout? Is an F. So it's not a strikeout. So now we're going to go to the next for the out. And it's going to be an out to first base. Okay, so we're going to go 3-1. Here comes Red Cheney to the top of the order finally. And he's going to get the cut. Red's an A. Strikeout C, D, F. He's a D. Struck, no, C. No, he's not a C, D, or F. So it's going to be a out. And here's a ground out to second. 4-3. Okay. Top of the fourth. Buell's still in there. He's got a six endurance. Okay. And here we go with uh, Bob Turley batting the pitcher. Strike out A B C or, or A B C and it's not the strike. So the, I wonder if it's an A B or C pitcher. I'm gonna read read this strikeout again. It was right in the right right the first time. So that was Bob Turley. Struck out A B C. It's not A B C. So we go right to the uh the batter's card. And he's an F batter. A walk if he's an A B C or walk, he's not. So we're going to have an out. And there's a ground out the second, 4-3. Okay. I think it should have been, I should be reading this one here, but yeah, I think, I don't know. That doesn't matter. Okay, it's an out. Hank Bauer leading off. Struck him out to see. First time he got Hank out. Here's Kubek getting a swing. He's a B plus. Strikeout B, C, D, or F. This one, does, he does have this one. He does have F. Oh, no. This is this is Kubek I'm looking at. His strikeout is a D. And he did strike him out. So they go down again. He's going right along here in the bottom of the fourth. Milwaukee still looking for its first hit against Bob Turley. Right, and here we go. He's getting a swing. Who's getting a swing? Johnny Logan's getting a swing. Johnny's a C plus. Walk them if he's an A. He is not an A on the walk. And so it's going to be an out. Okay, so it's a... See, there's, I don't know which one of these to read because <laughs> this has a deep fly out there. They're out. We'll just give, continue with the ground outs. 3-1. I'll have to research it again at the, after this inning because I am not reading this right. Eddie Matthews. The B. Short fly out the left. And Henry Aaron. The B. He draws the walk. Okay, and it brings up West Covington. He's getting a swing, and Wes is a B plus. B plus is a home run if he's an A. He is not an A, so it's going to be a deep fly to center. Nobody on third, three outs anyway. Okay, we're going to top of the fifth. Mickey Mantle leading off. Mickey's walked and struck out so far this game. Facing the C pitcher. There's a fly off the left. And it brings up a yogi. Yogi's grounded or popped out and walked. 
Let's see, he's getting a swing. Yogi's an A plus. A plus is a ground out the, the second. We're going to check his range. The second baseman, his range is an A. So we're going to go up here, check the range on the A, and he's out of there. 4 3. Pick got it in the hole before it went in the right field. Gil McDougal. Walk if he's the pitcher's a D or an F pitcher on the walks. He is, so McDougal draws the walk. Wow, there's another walk, right? No, well, so much for the shuffling. C, D, or F. Gets the first two guys out and then walks the next two guys. That's not really cool. And now he's, this guy's getting a swing. This is Jerry Lumpy, who's an A-plus hitter. A-plus hitter is a single, and they only go one base. Base is loaded. Two outs. They've done a lot of stuff with two outs. They could have just totally blown this game away so far. And here's Jerry Coleman. He's getting a cut. Jerry is a C hitter. A C. Struck him out. If he's a B, C, D, or F. Where's your strikeouts? B, C, D, or F. He strikes him out to get out of that jam again. Wow. That is crazy. All right, bottom of the, bottom of the fifth here. Okay, and here is Joe Adcock. It's two to stole a two to nothing gain, facing the B. Struck him out. Bob Hazel facing the B. He's a ground out to the pitcher. We're checking his uh, error rating, which is a D. <clears throat> The D error is out, so we're going 1-3. Got off the mound and got it over there in time. Del Rice yeah. getting a swing. Yeah. And Del is a D. That's a ground out to the pitcher again, checking the error rating, which I just said was a D. Checking the D, and he is out of there. 1-3 again. Bottom of the fifth inning is over, going to the top of the sixth. It's probably be the last pitch it, pitching for Buell here. <clears throat> okay, and then uh, we're here we go with uh, Bob Turley, still pitching a no-hit shutout here, Been leading off the top of the sixth, facing the seas, getting a swing. Turley is in a, what am I, on an F batter. Enough, he ground out the short, 6-3. Okay, Hank Bala. Strikeout if he's an A. He's not an A strikeout man. So we're going to Bauer, and Bauer is a C. So ground out the third. Checking the error again. And he's a B error. And he's out of there, 5-3. Okay, and here we go with Tony Kubek. Tony's one for two, plus a walk, and he drove in one. C, he's getting a swing. Kubek is a B plus. The triple, if it's an A, C, or D, A, B, C, or D triple guy. A, no, he's an F. Okay, so we're going to get an out. This is the way they read it. It was going to ground out the third. We flip it over here, and it's just a ground out, 5-3. So much for the top of the sixth. Okay, bottom of the sixth. We're going to have a timeout because we're going to have a pinch hitter. Okay, pinch hitter's Frank Torrey. Pinch hitting for Bob Buell here in the uh, top of the sixth, or bottom of the sixth. And here we go. It's a B pitcher. Strikeout is an A, B, or C. He's not an A, B, or C. Oh, he is a C, so he struck him out. Oh, there's one there. Strikes Torrey out. Okay, top of the order, Red Changeist. The B is a line out the first. The L3, and here's Johnny Logan. Getting a cut. Logan is a C plus. Home run is going to be their first hit. If he's an A plus home run hitter, I doubt that's going to happen. 
but he doubles to get their first hit of the game. Doubles in up to the gap, and here comes Eddie Matthews, their power, one of their power men up here. Struck him out. Whoa, big strikeout. Need to feel the score again in the bottom of the sixth. Okay. On the mound for Milwaukee is Juan Pizarro. These these are actually the guys that did pitch that did pitch in this game in the real life. A Pizarro. He's a D pitcher. All right, here we go. This, this ought to be interesting with the uh, D's. All right, getting a swing, and this is Mickey. Mickey's 0 for 2 plus a walk. Yeah. And Mickey is a uh, B plus. And that's a fly out the left. Mickey just doesn't have it going this today. Okay. Here's Yogi. The F's giving him another swing. Or I mean the D's giving him another swing. And Yogi's a A plus also. An A plus, and there's a base hit for Yogi, his first hit of the game. And here comes Gil McDougal. The D's giving him an error. And Gil is a B plus. B plus. Home run if it's a D. He is there. It's gone. Bill McDougal puts one in the seats. I'm going to make sure I'm reading, reading this right. B plus, the home run if it's a D, or, and it is. Yeah. Okay. McDougal puts, welcomes Pizarro to the game real quickly. He's now at four to nothing. Okay. Harry Simpson, let's win timeout so we can do a little shuffle here. So you don't have to shuffle them, but I did. I shuffled them and then turned them over. Okay, so this is the first. This is the pitch to Harry Simpson with one out, and it's a fly out the left. And we're checking his error rating. I get those always confused. Yes. All right, the left fielder is Covington. His error is a D. He's out of there. F seven. Two down. And. Jerry Lumpy. The D's letting him swing. Lumpy is a A plus. And it's a fly out to center. Not before they scored two more. Oh, and this was the seventh. I forgot to mark that. Four nothing. <clears throat> okay, bottom of the seventh. Leading off is Hank Aaron. The B pitchers let him swing, and Henry's an A batter. And a home run if it's an A. He is not. He's a B plus. So it's going to be a double for Aaron. Second hit of the game. Both of them in doubles. Okay, here's Wes Covington coming to the plate. Strikeout A, B, C, or D. It is. He struck him out. Joe Adcock. Strikeout A or B is not an A or B strikeout. So now we go to the to the batter's card. And it's uh Adcock is a B plus. Oh, and he's hit by pitch. Runners on first and second now with one out. Turley starting a little wild here. Bob Hazel coming up. The B letting him swing, and Hazel is an A plus. An A-plus is a single, two bases, and they're going to score a run. They're on the board. The asterisks after that indicate how many bases they can go. So that's Hazel driving in a run. Here's Del Rice. <clears throat> Still only one out here. Getting a swing. Del Rice is a D. A D. See if, it's an, see if he's an A-walk. Where are you, Del? No, he's not an A walk. So he's going to be an out. So we got to go up here. It's going to be out to second. They could possibly turn a double play. Oh, and it's a line out to second. L4, timeout. We're going to have another pinch hitter. Runners at first and third. Two outs. Bill Bruton coming in to be the pinch hit for the pitcher. And he's still facing the B. That's a ground out to second. We're checking the error rating. Uh, 
Second base, second base, where art thou? Okay, his error rating is F. And he is out of there, 4-3. So they got one, they're on the board. Okay, Gene Conley is in the pitch for the Braves. And it's here in the top of the eighth. And it's uh, Jerry Coleman. Okay, and Conley is a C pitcher. He struck him out. They're going to let Turley stay in the game. Uh. Since it's a four to one score, C pitcher sit in a swing. Turley is a uh, an F hitter. It's a ground out the third. And the top of the order, Hank Bauer. Ground out the first, checking the range. That's Adcock. His range is a B. And he's out of there. So we're going one, three one on that one. Okay, so what happens now with uh, his, was his, it was six, and he has now let up a run. So now he goes down to a, uh, C, a, or a C pitcher, okay? If he lets up another run, it'll go down again. We won't let him go any lower than that, though. All right, and here we go with the top of the order and bottom of the eighth, Red Shandies. Facing Bob Turley as a C now. He's getting tired. He flies out the center. Oops, I didn't score there. And here we go with uh, Johnny Logan. He's getting a cut. Logan's a C plus. C plus a walk if he's in a, if he's and he is a D, so Johnny Logan draws the walk. Hit a double his last time up there. And here's Eddie Matthews. Facing the C, he's getting a cut. Eddie's a B plus. Triple if he's an A, C, or D. His triple is a C. So there's a triple and a run, another run in. Oh, wrong guy. <laughs> Building the wrong guy there. Wishful thinking, I guess, huh? So uh, Eddie Matthews. Okay, so now he's going down to a D. So they're uh, they're calling the timeout. They had the, they had the bullpen warming up. Okay, so Don Larson is on the mound for the Yankees now here in the bottom of the eighth. Run around third, one out, one run in this in, in this half inning so far, and Hank Aaron is up. Okay, facing the C pitcher, Don Larson. So ground out to short, and we're checking uh, the range of the shortstop. And the range is a A range for McDougal. And he's out. Okay, so it's so it's in we're gonna flip now to see what kind of a, what happens up here. Can't be because the runner could advance. All right. Six three. And it's a pop out, the short. So no, but it did say it was a ground out when we started it. That's why we changed the range. Okay, and it didn't say advance on there, so I'm just going to say he held 6-3. You want to take a chance. Yeah. Okay, and here comes West Covington. Face the C. Walk, if he's a C, D, or F pitcher. And the walk, he is an F. So he walks him. Brings the tying run to the plate with Joe for Joe Adcock. He's getting the cut, and Joe's a B+. Plus. A B+, plus, a double if he's an A, B, or C, double. He is a double. That's two bases. This is this was Larson anyway, I think. Yeah, no, this was Larson. Okay, so another run in. So that closes the book on uh, Bob Turley for three runs. Okay, score now is four to three. Four to three, two outs, runners on second and third, and here comes Bob Hazel. So he's getting this cut, and Bob is an A plus. 
and there's a deep fly to the left. There was left than, if there was less than two outs, that would have been a sack fly, but it's, a, it's just an out. But they did bring get two runs. So the score is four to three. <clears throat> Top of the ninth. Gene Conley still on the mound. Oh, Pizarro only pitched one, so that was this one. Okay, here we go. Tony Kubak. They'd like to get some insurance runs, they say. Against the C, getting a cut. Kubak is a B plus. Home run if it's an A. It's not gonna be an, it's an A, it's not, but it's a double. Lead off about batter in scoring position. <clears throat> for Mickey Mantle, who has not been seeing the ball well today. He's swinging. Mickey's an A plus. It's a ground out to first. Okay. Yeah. We'll just look over here. And it says inf it's infield, so he had, did advance the runner. So it's three unassisted, we'll call it. Here's Yogi. Getting a cut. Yogi's an A plus. A plus. A, B, C, D, or double, double. He's an F, so he did not get a double. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to go to the out. It's going to be an out. It's going to be the first base. Then we'll find out what kind of an out it was. A line out. That doesn't make sense because the other one said ground, so I'm doing something wrong here. <clears throat> All right, we'll just go L3. I'll have to study some more on that before the next game. And here we go with uh, Gil McDougal. He's getting a cut. Gil's a B plus. B plus. Is, is he an A walk? He is not. So it's going to be an out. Then a shortstop. And this would make more sense if we said shortstop line out. Okay. <clears throat> that would make it a little late. We'll, we'll say all six. Okay, they didn't score. Here we go. Last chance for Milwaukee. Go down there. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And put your comments in the remarks section. Let me know what you think about this game. It's nice and quick and easy. And here we're going into the bottom of the ninth. And Dull Rice is coming up for uh, Milwaukee. And we're going to go. And he's going against the C pitcher. He's getting a swing. Dull Rice is a D batter. That's a ground out to short, 6 3. Time out for another pinch hitter. And it's going to be Andy Pafko. I put him right here. It's kind of a little, a little crowded down here. Put him right there. He is a B hitter. And there's one out, nobody on. And we're facing the C pitcher. He's getting a cut. And he's a B hitter. A B hitter is a fly out the left. Up in order, Shane Deese is 0 for 4. Getting a swing. He's an A hitter. It's a ground out. We're checking the catcher's error rating. Okay, that's Barra. His error rating is a D. Will they stay alive? The air rating D is out of there. So he digs it out. It's 2 3. And that is the ball game. Well, the, this is kind of ironic. The Yankees now have won all three, all three by the score of 4 to 3. I don't know if this is something I should have to worry about with this game or not. But anyway, that's this week's episode. The Yankees are up three games to none. See you next week for maybe the final game of the series. So Cal Saber saying thank you for stopping by. Take care of yourselves. Be kind to each other and stay safe.